are Lagos Talks 91.3. Let's talk. All right, let's start about the news, Hound. Well, let's start stories coming through from African football. Now, African football will support FIFA president Yanni Infantino in his re-election bid next year. The Confederation of African Football President Patrice Mutsepe confirmed yesterday. CAF officially endorsed the candidacy of Infantino at his General Assembly in Tanzania on Wednesday, with Mutsepe reiterating support from the Confederation itself and also on behalf of member associations, our brother based in Europe, close quote. Re-elected unopposed as president of football's world governing body in 2019, Infantino is set to stand for a third term at the 73rd FIFA Congress next year. No other candidate has yet declared an interest in standing in the FIFA elections against Infantino, who was first elected president in February 2016. The 52-year-old Swiss Italian uh, took to the stage in Tanzania to thank Africa for its support and pledge his continuous backing to the game on the continent. He then joined Motepe for the launch of Africa's new Super League, which is scheduled to start from the 2023 to the 2024 campaign. Uh, back in January, the FIFA boss came under severe criticism for comments referencing African migrants dying at sea when talking about the reforms in football's calendar. We're still talking football. A total of 12 female football clubs in Nigeria who will take part in this year's edition of an invitational football tournament, which will kick off from September 7 to 17 in Edo State. Edo State Deputy Governor Philip Shwebu said the winner of the tournament will smile home with 5 million naira, second position 2.5, third position 1.5 million, while the fourth position will get 750,000 naira. Each participating team would get a consolation prize of 500,000 naira each. We're also providing accommodation for all the teams, they say. The 10 Nigeria Women Football League clubs are Bayosa Queens, Edo Queens, Nasara Amazons, Delta Queens, Conference Queens, and Oshu Babies. Others are Rivers Angels, Sunshine Queens, Niger Rattles, and Royal Queens. Home base clubs, Fortress Ladies Football Club, and Braveheart FC complete the lineup of 12 clubs for the tournament. Bayelsa Queens were winners of the inaugural edition in 2021. While well, still on women's football, two time runners up and one time semi finalist Nigeria is upbeat about scooping three points when they go up against one of Europe's top teams, France, in the opening match of Group C of this year's FIFA on the 20 Women's World Cup finals in San Jose tonight. Head coach Christopher Danjum is confident his high scoring Falconet would deliver today and afterwards. Meredith Olumide Agoye, the head coach of Shooting Stars Football Club of Ibadan, has resigned his appointment with the Oluyole Warriors. The former Super Eagles attacker resigned his appointment after meeting with the state governor, engineer Sheyi Makinde, and the club management on Tuesday. The former 3SC striker, who served nine years in the club as coach, led the Warriors to stage a return to the Nigeria Elite League after five years in the second tier league. Binga or Gumbote is linked with the 3SC position. And great cheering news as well. The first batch of Team Nigerian athletes to the just concluded Commonwealth Games in Birmingham re- arrived yesterday, giving a heroic welcome by the federal government on their return after a successful outing. Receiving the athletes after their, and their officials at the Namdi Aziku International Airport, Abuja, Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Sunday Dari, applauded their excellent performance, which yielded 35 medals, lifting the country to the seventh position on the Games Honours Roll. Representing by the Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports Development, Al Haji Ismaila Abubakar. The Minister expressed joy on behalf of the country over their outstanding achievements, which was the first in the history of the nation. Shelley Ann Fraser Price ran the fourth fastest ever women's 100 meters, 10.62 seconds, to win at the Diamond League in Monaco. The five time world 100 meters champion at the age of 35 bettered her own mark for the fastest 100 meters of the year, having clocked 10.66 seconds in Poland on Saturday. She has now run the third and fourth fastest women's 100 meters times ever. Fraser Price's fellow Jamaican, uh, Sharika Jackson, came second in Monaco with a personal best of 10.71 seconds, while Marie Jose Talou of Ivory Coast set an African record in third. In golf, Rory McIlroy says common sales prevailed after three players from the Saudi-backed LIV Golf Series lost a court bid against the PGA Tour to play in the FedEx Cup playoffs. The PGA Tour has suspended members of taking part in the breakaway series. 
uh, Australian Matt Jones, American Taylor Gooch, and Hudson Swafford sought a temporary restraining order so they could play the first event this week. However, U.S. District Judge Beth uh, Freeman sided with the PGA Tour. The trio claimed the suspension was causing them irreparable harm, but the judge in a ruling said the lucrative payments offered the LIV are based upon players' calculations of what they are leaving behind. Super Eagle striker Cyril Dessers has sealed a permanent transfer to newly promoted Serie A side Cremonose from Belgian club Genk. Dressers was spectacular during his loan stint at Feyenoord last season, leading the Dutch club to a final berth in the maiden season of the Europa Conference League with 10 goals. The Nigerian striker returned to Genk in July after Feyenoord refused to sign him on a permanent basis. And Karim Benzema continuing his Ballon d'Or pursuits with a 324th goal for European champions Real Madrid as they beat Eintracht Frankfurt to lead the Super Cup yesterday in Helsinki. Now, Carlo Ancelotti's side beat Liverpool to win the Champions League in May, took the lead when David Alaba tapped into an empty net with Frankfurt goalkeeper Kevin Trapp stranded following Casemiro's header back across goal. Benzema doubled the Spanish Giants' lead after the break with a first-time finish from Vinicius Junior's cross to move second on Real Madrid's all-time goal-scoring list of the taken Raul Gonzalez and just behind Cristiano Ronaldo, who's got 450 goals. Frankfurt, making their Super Cup debut, had moments of their own, the best when Daichi Kamada was sent through early on, but Europa League winners looked second best once Real hit their stride. Manchester City footballer Benjamin Mendy has pleaded not guilty to another charge of rape. A 28-year-old entered the plea ahead of a trial, which is due to start at Chester Crown Court on Monday. He now denies eight counts of rape, one of sexual assault, and one of attempted rape. A jury panel of eight men and four women were sworn in for the trial, which is expected to last more than three months. The offences against seven young women are alleged to have taken place at Mr. Mendy's home between October 2018 and August of 2021. And from transfer stories, Arsenal are keen to sign another winger named Pepe this summer. Now, Arsenal are seeking to sign Porto winger Pepe this summer. The 23-year-old Brazilian is hot property, having impressed in the Portuguese league last term. However, Pepe is not available for less than a release clause of £60 million. And finally, a second-tier football club in Sierra Leone will be allowed to play in promotion playoffs despite still being under investigation for alleged match manipulation in a game, believe this guys, which finished 91-1. to Golf FC qualified for the Super 10 phase of the league after they defeated uh, Kokima Lebanon 3-0, while the closest challengers Kahunla Rangers lost 1-0 to Lubembu United in replayed matches on Sunday. We are Lagos Talks 91.3. Let's talk.